guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a, another retail horror story video. Um, my other one got lots of love, so I wanted to make another one and just embarrass myself even more. In this video, I'm going to talk about stories where I either have um, come across crazy customers or it's something embarrassing that I have done. To celebrate holiday coming again, I thought why not make another one. Let me know if you guys relate to any of these and if you guys have any stories similar or just any crazy things happening to you at your job, even if it's not in retail, let me know in the comments below. I love hearing stuff like that. It makes me feel a little bit better about what I've done. Oh, and I'm not even addressing like why I'm dressed up like this. It's Halloween, so happy Halloween. I don't know when this video will be up. I'm trying to put it up today, uh, hopefully. If I put it up tomorrow, then let me know what you guys dressed up as for Halloween. If you did dress up, I dressed up as a pirate. I'll insert my picture here, and I was obsessed with my costume. I didn't want to spend any money on anything because I'm like on a saving money phase right now. So my whole outfit was created right there in my closet. Um, I literally, I felt like I was like on a TV show. I was like cutting everything and like layering and like used necklaces as like belts and stuff. Um, it was fun. So anyways, let's get into the video. First story is probably like the craziest encounter that I've had with a customer. So this day was the first day for a new manager that I was working with and she was younger than me. And it was the first day that she was working alone without another manager there with her. So we opened the store and not even like 20 minutes go by and this woman came in. She had a huge bag. That's the first thing I noticed, a huge one of our bag. The first thing she says is, well, she asked me if a specific manager was there at the time. And I said, no, you know, it's just her and I here today. And then she said, oh, thank goodness. Okay, well, I'm going to need you to help me. And I was like, okay, like, let me take you up to the front. And like this whole time I was like wondering, like, what had happened between them and stuff. So, you know, I take her bag and then she said, yeah, I'd like to do a return. And just from the tone of her voice, I could tell that she was not really excited to be there, at least um, with us. I don't know, she was being really, really rude. Just everything she said, it was in like the snarkiest little like tone. So she had a bunch, a bunch of body care items. And this was the time of our semi-annual sale. So twice a year, if you're not familiar with Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale, in June and in January for about a month we have a bunch of our discontinued items come back or um, items that have been temporarily like put on the shelves for that time. They also go super discounted. Oh my goodness, stop texting me. They go super discounted. The sales change every day too. So sometimes they'll be 50% off, sometimes they'll be 75% off, sometimes they'll be a random number like $10 or $4 or $3, whatever. But every day the sales change. This woman came in and she, I was returning all her stuff. I took her ID because for every return and exchange we need ID. And then I saw that she paid with a credit card. So I said, okay, this is the amount that's going to go back on your credit card. And then she looks at me because this whole time she was like on her phone while I was doing the return. She looks at me and she goes, wait, 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 what? I said price adjustment. And I was like, oh, okay, like, sorry, I misunderstood you. You know, I'll fix this for you. And she goes, Ugh. I was like, oh, no, like, why are you here? Why are you around people at all? Like, please stop. But I'm always really nice to like rude people especially. So I, you know, canceled the whole thing and then rang it as a price adjustment. So price adjustment for those of you who don't know, so say she bought those items like a week ago for 50% off and now they were 75% off. She came in to do that price adjustment so then she would get the money back um, and so she would be paying 75% off for them instead of when she paid 50. So hopefully that makes sense. So I started ringing up all her items and then I made the price adjustment for her and then she, okay, so then I tell her, you know, if she wanted it back on her card or if she wanted it on like a gift card, if she wanted to keep shopping or anything like that. And after I asked her, she turned her back to me, looks up at the ceiling and says, Jesus, I know you're testing my anger today by bringing this girl into my life and I will not budge. I'm going to take this and I'm not going to get mad and literally going on and on and on and on and on and the new girl the manager was standing next to me and we were like what the fuck? 
who does this girl think she is? Like, it's not that difficult at all. She turns around, she goes, no, 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 like, you do not understand what I'm saying. Like, I'm saying I wanted a price adjustment, that's not the correct amount that I should be getting back. And then I was like, oh, girl, like, <laughs> ooh, and then she asked me how long I've been working there, and I was like, almost three years, like, mm -hmm. almost three years, I've been through this a bunch of times. And then she said, okay, I'm going to need you to go over that with me. So, you, like, delete everything and then ring everything up and let me know what you're doing so I know it's correct and I have to do the math. And I was like, okay, okay. And there was, like, a few customers in the store and they were literally, like, just staring at her. And so I cancel it again and then I start ringing up all her items. And then what we do is after we ring up all the items, then we ring them up again and it's supposed to take off all the uh, like discounts and stuff. If you're in retail, then you would understand, but I don't wanna like make a whole video talking about how to do a price adjustment. So pretty much I started going over it with her. She was on her phone on a freaking calculator, like trying to make sense of this, even though I don't even think she was doing it right. I was there, long story short, I was there with her for like an hour on the register. She would not leave me alone. I feel like she was like an actor sent there just to torture me. But she was like yelling the entire time. She was telling me how I didn't know how to do my job. And then after that, when she got her credit back, when I finally lived literally somehow got to her um I was being like nice to her the whole time and was kind of like agreeing with every little comment I was like yeah yeah like I'm sorry I understand blah blah, blah. and like at the end I think she kind of got a little warmed up to me and she was in the store for like longer shopping some more I was like oh my lord when is this girl gonna leave because <laughs> next time I'm running to the back and the new girl after was like uh is every customer like that? Because if I were her, I'd be like, I'm leaving. So anyways, that's the first story. Um, the second story is something embarrassing that I did. So this was around holiday time. And I remember because I had to deal with really, really hot guys. And guys only come in when it's Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, or holiday. And they're like shopping for gifts. And my coworkers and I, like... It's all, we're all girls, and then we have one friend named Taylor, he's a guy, and he's gay. So we're all interested in guys, <laughs> and every time a hot guy would come in, we would have, like, a nickname for them. That sounds so creepy. So say our nickname was, like, Alex, um, and, so, like, an Alex came in, we'd be like, hey, did you see Alex today? Like, literally, as we're standing right in front of him, and it makes him so, it makes it so fun, like... I don't know, we always look forward to seeing Alex's. So my coworker Aaron and I were doing shipments. So we were working on a car of boxes and like putting candles out and uh, just like replenishing the store and stuff. We were moving candles from the wall onto a table and I was carrying like six boxes of candles and I noticed that these two guys walked in and we were right by the front door and you know obviously we're supposed to greet all of them. And I was walking past them with a box and I said, hi, like, welcome in. Can I help you with anything? And first they were like, no, we're good. Thank you. And I was like, okay. I turned around. I was like, <laughs> I was like, Aaron, <laughs> Alex, do you see Alex? And we were like freaking out. We were probably so obvious, but like, it's so fun. Like, I don't know. It just makes work way more fun. I heard, excuse me, actually, we do need help behind me. And then we looked at each other and I was like, and then I turn around with, I didn't even put the candles down this whole time, like my arms are probably aching. I turned around with the boxes in my hand and I'm like, I kid you not, I never would have thought this would have happened in my life. You know that moment in TV shows where like girls get like speechless by guys? That freaking happened to me. Like I don't know how, but he was literally in front of me with his friend behind him. And when I turned around after he asked for help, I was literally like... And then after like six seconds of not doing anything, I, I say, okay, and just walk, walk away from him. I'm not kidding you. I say, okay, and then just like walk behind him and he like turns around and then Aaron goes, uh, okay, sorry, like I'll help you. And I literally like ran away. <laughs> Because it was so embarrassing and like my manager found out she was like teasing me all day like all of my coworkers were like spying on the guys because <laughs> like they thought it was so funny but like it was a really fun time but it was just like I cannot believe that I did that. And also with Alex's every time there's a really 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 hot Alex 
I always tell my coworkers, I'm like, I can't ring them up because I will literally start sweating and stuttering and I can't make eye contact and it's just really bad. So, I don't know, that's a little thing that happened. So the next few things aren't quite like long stories, they're just like weird things that happened. Um, and then two of these things happened to my coworkers. I wasn't there, but I thought I would share their stories because they're really pretty bad. So one time my coworker, Erin, again, was working and she said there was like a family in and they were just kind of like smelling around and there was a girl that was probably like around six years old and so she you know she was old older you know she wasn't like a toddler or anything and all of a sudden Aaron saw like water chasing along the floor like up to her and she was like what the heck like someone spilt something like someone somehow opened like a spray or something and spilt it and she's like following it and it's this little girl crouched down on the floor peeing and she's like six years old and Aaron was like um oh, I'm sorry do you want do you want, like there's bathrooms like in the mall like I'm sorry and like her mom turned around she's like oh my god like I'm so sorry and like started freaking out and they just like ran out the store did not clean their pee, the child's pee. They did not clean it. They literally just ran out and like left them to clean up the pee. And my manager came out, she's like, uh-uh, like I'm not cleaning that up in there and I had to clean it up. Okay, this last little tiny story I'm gonna throw in, it's not even a story, it's like something that's weird of a fuck that happened. It happened to my coworker Taylor. He said, um, this woman asked me to sell her lotion that tastes good. He thought she meant like, you know, smell good. People like mix up flavors with scents and stuff all the time at work. And he put, like he demoed a lotion on her hand um, so she could smell it, <laughs> you know, normal thing to do, and she smells it and then licks the lotion off her hand. <laughs> and he told me that when he saw her do this, he said, oh, I'm like, sorry, but they're not edible. Like, I don't want you to get sick. She said, no, I do this all the time. It's fine. What? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> How are you still alive? Because... So those are the only ones that I could really think of for right now. If anything else happens during the holidays, I'll definitely make a new video and let you guys know. But yeah, please comment below, you know, tell me your experiences or what you thought of this video. Um, and subscribe if you haven't so you can see more of my videos. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. I'll talk to you guys next time.